In 1884, residents of Bristol joined together to bring public drinking water and fire protection to the city, creating the privately owned Bristol Water Company. In 1913, the city of Bristol purchased the company and thus created the Bristol Water Department. In 2018, a city charter revision united the water and sewer departments because of similarities between the two, forming the Bristol Water and Sewer Department. The department consists of two divisions, water and sewer, which are broken down to six sections, administrative, construction, sewer collection, metering, sewer treatment, and water treatment. The department has 60 full-time employees dedicated to providing water and sewer service to the city's 60,000 residents, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We get asked a lot, where does our water come from? Or where does our water go? The journey of water for the city of Bristol starts and ends in a stream. Come along with me as we travel through this process. Our drinking water starts its way to the city in any of our six reservoirs and five wells, all of which are maintained by our water treatment section. We own over 5,000 acres of land in the watershed around our reservoirs to protect our valuable resource from contamination. Reservoirs are carefully monitored each day, samples are always being collected, and daily tests are performed to ensure not only compliance with state and federal laws, but to also ensure we have the highest quality water available for our customers. Reservoir number one's gatehouse allows raw water to flow into the treatment plant. Once in the plant, untreated water goes through a conventional water treatment process consisting of flocculation, coagulation, sedimentation, and filtration through two treatment trains. The water treatment plant produces on average 6 million gallons a day, but can process up to 12 million gallons per day if needed. Once the conventional treatment is complete, the raw water has chemicals added for disinfection and pH adjustment. These chemicals are provided time to mix with the raw water through a baffled tank named a clear well before water is considered to be safe for consumption or as we say, potable. Samples are taken daily at all treatment processes and analyzed either in our laboratory or by an outside firm to ensure our water meets all regulatory requirements. As you can tell, the treatment plant has several layers of backup or redundancy so that we can ensure there is no interruption to the quality and quantity of treated water to the city. As our potable water leaves the plant, it goes to many areas of the city through the 300 miles of water main to get to customers' faucets. Bristol has approximately 19,000 service connections, over 5,000 valves, and 1,500 public fire hydrants, all of which are maintained by our construction section. Some of Bristol's water mains date back to 1884 and are still in service today. People may believe that a water main dating back to the 1800s is old and may not be as good as a newer main. However, iron produced for these old mains was much stronger prior to World War I, and these mains have proven to be higher quality than water mains manufactured in the 1950s. Strategically placed pump stations throughout the city move the water across the varying elevations of our city into our water and storage tanks. The 1500 fire hydrants are not simply there for the firefighters to rely on, but also used to perform yearly flushing of the water mains. This flushing removes sediments from the water mains and any stagnation that may occur to ensure the best quality of water is being delivered to our customers. No matter how strong a water main is, breaks do occur, and we average approximately 25 per year, which is much lower than the national average of 40 per year. These breaks are never something that can be predicted and can occur at any time, day or night. Our construction section has staff readily available 24 hours a day to make all repairs needed. Once the water enters the building, a meter measures all consumption. Our meters are routinely replaced and tested per American Water Works Association's recommended frequency of eight to 10 years. Wherever the water is used in the building, it eventually goes down the drain, which starts the next chapter in its journey back to the stream. Either going down the drain or toilet, at this point, our water changes from potable drinking water to wastewater. Our sewer division's main job is to protect the environment by treating our wastewater to remove any possible pollution before releasing it back to the stream. Our department provides sewer service to approximately 90% of the city's population. Wastewater is a term used for any water leaving a house, business, industrial facility, and restaurant. Wastewater flows through pipes, manholes, and other various infrastructure referred to as the collection system. The collection system consists of over 245 miles of sewer lines, 
5,660 manholes, and 16 pumping stations to get to the water pollution control facility. The wastewater treatment plant is designed to process an average of 10.75 million gallons per day, with a peak flow of 33.34 million gallons per day. The success of our city sewer system begins with what should not be put in it. Things like sanitary wipes, fats, oils, grease, rags, rocks, sticks should never enter the sewer system. Once the wastewater arrives at the treatment plant, it gets treated through various processes to remove pollutants. Wastewater is then allowed to flow through various tanks called clarifiers and aeration tanks. There, the wastewater will settle, removing solids and break down waste containing harmful pollutants harmful to rivers, streams, and aquatic life. Finally, harmful nutrients to the environment such as nitrogen and phosphorus are removed while the wastewater is disinfected using ultraviolet lights to remove any bacteria. Once the treatment process is complete, the remaining water is discharged back to the stream. Discharge of treated wastewater from the treatment plant to the stream is heavily regulated by state and federal agencies. Samples are collected and analyzed through every step of the treatment process daily by our employees who are licensed by the state of Connecticut. In closing, I hope you have a clearer understanding of the numerous steps involved in processing your next glass of water, the many stages of treating wastewater, and how many employees play an intricate role in the Bristol Water and Sewer Department's success. The most important lesson to take away is knowing that everyone has a part in the health, preservation, and success of this delicate operation. Knowing what not to flush down the toilet will help keep the environment safe and protect our drinking water for many generations to come. On behalf of the commissioners, superintendent, managers, and employees, we hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for doing your part in valuing Bristol's best beverage, water.